Like and subscribe on the way in the door, my people. I hope you all are having a truly fantastic day today. A couple more questions, Scott. Yeah. Scott Jackson, Sports Talk 980. Michael, um, Doug mentioned that he may give you a break if you wanted at training camp uh, with the two-a-days. Uh, do you see that happening? And also with uh, the season, when it goes on, do you see yourself uh, you know, taking nights off uh, you know, like Mario Lemieux did with his hockey return? No. Um, I can understand about the two-a-days, which uh, I welcome that. You know, obviously, uh, I would push myself, and Doug would continue to push me. I didn't go two a days in the last four years when I played, um, which I know, you know Phil was trying to manage my, uh, my 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 physical output, but I imagine Doug is going to do the same. But when the season starts, I plan on playing 82 games. I'm not I'm not looking for shortcuts, and you know, I've never been about shortcuts. Uh, not that Mario was taking a shortcut. I'm pretty sure he knew his body physically better than anybody, but uh, I think that once I decide to play or you know, when the season starts, I plan on playing 82 games. All right, so you heard the clip. That was Michael Jordan in an interview uh, as he was getting ready to come back and play for the Washington Wizards. And as you heard the question, the guy was asking Michael Jordan, uh, basically, <laughs> if he planned on load managing. <laughs> and Michael Jordan said, no, I plan on playing all 82 games. I do not believe in taking shortcuts. And uh, I feel like when, whenever you hear Michael Jordan talk, there is always some inspiration and motivation to be gained with how he speaks. Uh, but I thought this was very appropriate in light of coming off this terrible trash weekend of the All-Star game, All-Star events, and uh, just basically these players showing they have no pride, no competitiveness, uh, and that they are full of shortcuts, uh, and all led by the face of the league, LeBron James. So let's let's talk about this no shortcut things. Let's talk about this Michael Jordan saying he planned on playing all 82 games and why that is important. Because I believe the first part of doing a job <laughs> is showing up to the job. <laughs> that that is the first part. That that is the part the first part of building some consistency. Right is consistently showing up to the job. And again, I've, I've been saying this the last couple of weeks. Uh, you cannot convince me that these players are competitive. You cannot convince me that these players actually love the game of basketball. And that is simply because, um, like I said, to me, these players spend more time trying to figure out how to play less and less basketball. So when that is the case, how could you possibly love something that you are trying to figure out a way to do it less and less? That just does not make sense at all. Now, do I think these players always uh, were um, uncompetitive? No. Do I think these players at one point had passion for the game of basketball? Absolutely. But I believe that that quickly died off when they got these huge contracts. And the culture of the NBA today is that of non-competition. Look no further than this weekend. The All-Star game where the best players, so-called best players of the NBA, are all together. You would think that is prime opportunity to show who is the best among the very best of the league. That's how I would be looking at it. I would be looking at it as, okay, we got all the best out here. Now, let me show everyone who the best really, truly is. But again, you know, almost 400 points were scored. But uh, anyway, so getting back to, yeah, the first step to me is showing up to work. That's the first step of consistency that you build when you're trying to establish some success and that could be at anything that could be on the basketball court again that could be at a nine to five 
But the first step is showing up. The second step is putting in the work. And again, we all know Michael Jordan has the reputation for working harder than everyone else. Again, when you hear about LeBron James and his work ethic, it is always tied to keeping in shape. And then that's great because you have to stay in shape to play the game of basketball. How Well, in which, side note, LeBron looked very out of shape in the All-Star game. I don't know what he was doing. <laughs> I don't know what he was doing in that All-Star game. I mean, the, the air balls, the missed layups. I mean, he, he looked like trash out there. I, I don't know what was up with that. But anyway, yeah, there is more to the game of basketball than simply staying in playing shape. Like there is constantly working on your skills. There is constantly taking on that challenge and challenging yourself to be better than the day before, not just to maintain and stay in shape. And then last but not least, the other part of the not taking shortcuts to me is accepting, or I should say not having to have all the best of everything to do your job. Uh, Michael Jordan retired from the Chicago Bulls, a six-time NBA champ, 6-0 in the finals, never allowing the game seven, retired as the world viewing him as the GOAT. So I'm sure if he wanted to, he could have found a way to come back and come to a team that had some real potential to uh, win a championship. I'm sure he could have found a way to do that. But Michael Jordan simply loved the game of basketball, was willing to work, was willing to take on the challenge of improving himself, of uh, seeing how he could fit into the new rules of the NBA at the time, and seeing how he could set example, set an example for the players that for the younger players that were playing on the team with him. And so, yeah, I just thought that was a great clip. I thought that was an appropriate clip. Uh, like I said, coming off of All-Star Weekend with this uh, super trash game uh, with these, you know, I don't know. That, that All-Star Weekend really, it, it, it really, um, I don't know. It's going to be hard for me to continue to watch the NBA in any capacity. And number one, just for the simple fact that I feel like I'm supporting that that garbage. Like at this point, at this point, I feel like watching the NBA, like you are co-signing that garbage that they do. I, I'm going I'm to have to really think about that because part of me is, like I said, I try to watch the game so that when I'm talking about some of these things, I'm not just – Blindly talking about it, even though we all know what's going on. But uh, but yeah, what this this uh past weekend really makes me question uh just from a support level. It's like I, I don't want to be in support of the NBA in in that kind of way. If if the players have the audacity to put out a trash product like that. Anyway, we <laughs> We are going to hold up here. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, again, I don't think it's any surprise that Michael Jordan said that. But let me know what you think about that clip of Michael Jordan says that, hey, when the season starts, I plan to play all 82 games. I do not believe in shortcuts. And do you think that is an appropriate clip considering the All-Star Weekend uh, the subpar All-Star Weekend that we just came off of. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. You all have a truly fantastic day, and I'll see you next time. All right.